Hello students, welcome to Interconnecting Physics. Today, I will teach you the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with free space and also the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with dielectric as medium in detail. In last video, I taught you about the capacitor and the definition of capacitance as a unit's dimension formula in detail. In this video, we will discuss about derivations regarding capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with free space as well as with dielectric as the medium. So without wasting time, let's get started. For regular updates, you can follow me on given links. So capacitance of parallel plate capacitor. So what is parallel plate capacitor? Parallel plate capacitor consists of two plates separated by some distance and the two plates have generally equal area. Let us say A is the area of the plate. Okay. And the positive charge distributed on plate M and negative charge distributed on plate M. And generally equal and opposite charge are given to the plates. Let plus sigma is the surface charge density of plate M and minus sigma is the surface charge density of plate M. Let us say the distance between two plates is D and this time the medium between the plates is free space. That is vacuum or air. Okay. So, let us consider parallel plate capacitor consists of two plates M and N. Let the separation between plates is D plus Q charge is given to plate M minus Q charge is given to plate N. An electric field inside the plates is E0 equal to sigma over epsilon naught. This is very important that electric field which exists between the two plates is sigma over epsilon naught. For this formula, that electric field between the plates, you can hit the I button. And you will come to know how this formula is used here. Okay. Because in that video, in application of Gauss theorem, that is electric field due to infinite plane charge sheet, we studied that electric field for equal and oppositely charged plates exists only between the two plates. In the left side of the plates, and in the right side of the plates, the electric field is 0. Okay. So, electric field between the plates A and B is given by E0 equal to sigma over epsilon naught, Where epsilon naught is the absolute permittivity of the free space. Free space means vacuum or air. Now, the direction of electric field is from positive to negative charge. Now, in order to calculate the capacitance, you know what is the formula for capacitance? Capacitance has formula Q divided by V. Means magnitude of charge on either plate and divided by the potential difference between the two plates. Now, it means to calculate capacitance of capacitor, we have to calculate potential difference first. So, what is potential difference? It is E0 into D here. Why? Because we already did the relation between electric field and potential difference that is electric field is negative of potential gradient. Okay. And the magnitude of electric field is equal to the potential gradient that is E equal to dV upon dr. Here dV that is potential difference is V and dr that is the distance between two plates is D. So means E0 we write it as V divided by D. So this implies V equal to E0 into D. That's why we write here V equal to E0 into D. Now using equation number 1 we get put the value of E0 here we get V equal to sigma D over epsilon naught. Now you know what is surface charge density? Surface charge density is the charge divided by area. Now charge is Q and area of the plate is A. So 
by putting this value here, we get potential difference between the two plates equal to QD over epsilon naught A. Now, let us calculate capacitance which is given by C equal to Q over V. So, epsilon naught A divided by D. Because when we put this value, Q cancels with Q and the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor is epsilon naught A divided by D. Now, the capacitance of capacitor depends C equal to epsilon naught A by D. It depends upon the geometry of the system. We already did that capacitance doesn't depend upon the charge and potential difference. Doesn't depend. It depends upon the system means shape and size of the conductors. Number two, the distance of separation of the conductors. It means if the distance of separation between the two conductor is less, then capacitance will be large. And if D is more, that is separation between two plates is more, the capacitance will be small. Because this is C, capacitance and D are in inverse relation. Okay. And number three, the nature of the dielectric medium between the conductors means the nature of the dielectric medium. This is the medium inside the two plates. It also depends upon this. Now, for some specific value that if we consider A equal to 1 meter square and D equal to 1 millimeter, we have to convert this millimeter into meter. Okay. We get capacitance equal to epsilon naught. Put the value of epsilon naught. That is 8.85 into 10 to power minus 12. A is 1 meter square and D is 1 millimeter we get the capacitance for these values is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 farad. We earlier did that 1 farad is the very large unit of the capacitance. Very large unit of the capacitance. From this relation, we can prove this. Now, let us suppose capacitance of capacitor is 1 farad. Okay. Then we have to find the area of the plates. So, let us find A equal to cross multiply C D divided by epsilon naught. C is 1 farad because we are assuming the area of the capacitor having capacitance is 1 farad. And D let us suppose here 10 raised to power minus 2 meter. And epsilon naught, you know the value of epsilon naught, 8.85 into 10 raised to power minus 12, which is equal to 10 raised to power 9 meter square. So from this, you see the area of the plate is very, very large, that is 10 raised to power 9 meter square, which is not even easy to manufacture. So, it means 1 farad is the very large value of the capacitance. Okay. So, from this, the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor, we derive the relation that is C equal to epsilon naught A divided by D and it depends upon the distance between the two plates, area of the two plates. Okay. That is, if area is large, capacitance is large. But, we cannot construct the area of the plates having value 10 raised to power 9 meter square so that we have capacitance is 1 farad which is very difficult to construct. Okay. So now let us see further. The effect of dielectric on capacitance. We know capacitance of parallel plate capacitor having free space is this. Epsilon naught A divided by D. Let us denote this by C naught. Okay. And for this, the electric field was E naught equal to sigma over epsilon naught. Now, this time, let us introduce dielectric between the two plates. What is dielectric? Dielectric is insulator. And we know that when insulator is placed under the effect of electric field, what will happen? Polarization occurs. 
polarization occurs. That is the molecules of dielectric or insulating material, the molecules of dielectric get stretched. That is positive and negative charge get stretched. Okay. So, when we introduce this dielectric of thickness T, what will happen? The electric field E0 that is applied electric field due to this positive charge on the plate M and negative charge on the plate N E0. The direction of E0 is from positive to negative charge. Now, due to this electric field, the molecules inside the dielectric gets polarized like this minus plus minus plus minus plus negative charges move opposite to the electric field because the force acting on the negative charges will be minus of E0. So it means it will be opposite to the electric field and the positive charges move in the direction of electric field. Now The charges in the dielectric only developed on the surface of the dielectric. Minus charge on the left surface and positive charge on the right surface because the internal charges that is the positive charge of one molecule gets cancelled with negative charge of adjacent molecule. Again positive gets cancelled with negative of another molecule and by this way the net charge inside becomes zero and only the negative charge will be developed in the left side and positive charge will be developed on the right side of the dielectric. And due to these induced charges, due to these induced surface charges, new electric field is developed inside the dielectric which is denoted by Eb. And the direction of Eb is opposite to the direction of applied electric field. So because this is opposite to the applied electric field, so here comes the reduced value of electric field that is E0 minus Eb. Means the value of applied electric field has been reduced by the factor of Eb. Okay. So this value E exists inside the dielectric. Okay. So let us say surface charge density induced is sigma P minus sigma p on the left side and plus sigma p on the right side. So let us see further. So again let us suppose this time we induce dielectric of thickness t between the plates of the capacitor. Dielectric is polarized by electric field due to polarization. Opposite charges densities developed on the sides of the dielectric that is sigma p and minus sigma this will correspond to induced electric field which is denoted by Eb. This Eb is opposite to the applied electric field. Now the reduced value of electric field is E equal to E0 minus Eb. If E0 is sigma over epsilon naught then Eb will be sigma p over epsilon naught. So value will be E equal to minus sigma minus sigma p over epsilon naught. Now again to calculate the capacitance we have to calculate the potential difference between the plates. So potential difference this time E0, what is E0? It is the applied electric field which only exists here. That is E0 D minus T. If suppose the separation between two plates is 3 mm and the thickness of the dielectric is 2 mm, then D minus T will be 3 minus 2 that is 1 mm. The space which is left here, here exists applied value of electric field that is E0 D minus T plus E, the reduced value is existing between the dielectric. Reduced value is inside the dielectric. So E into T. Okay. Again I repeat because E equal to minus T V upon DR. Okay. And the magnitude of E equal to magnitude of minus dV upon dr that is E equal to dV upon dr. Here potential difference is denoted by V and the distance is here.
here there are two distances okay so if dr is d then potential is e into d so this relation we are going to use here now we have reduced value of electric field which exists inside the dielectric because inside the dielectric there generates new electric field that is induced electric field polarized electric field ep which is opposite to the applied electric field okay so reduced values e not minus e p which exists inside the dielectric so e into p exists inside the dielectric plus e not exists this in this space which is left by the dielectric so e not d minus t so this is the potential okay now we know that dielectric constant is given by the ratio of applied electric field to the reduced value of electric field so from here when we cross multiply we get e equal to e not divided by k so in this in potential difference here we put this value because here the value was e so we substitute the value of e that is e not divided by k now take common e not we get d minus t plus t over k now put the value of e naught which is sigma over epsilon naught and what is sigma sigma was q over a so put this value we get v equal to q over a epsilon naught d minus t plus t over k now let us calculate capacitance of the capacitor which is c equal to q over v so put the value okay now q cancels with q now let us take d outside why because we know that capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with free space is given by epsilon naught a divided by d we want this value here okay so we take d common we take d outside so if we take d outside here comes one minus t divided by d plus t divided by dk now divide c by c not okay when we divide c by c not this epsilon not a divided by d cancels with epsilon not a divided by d and we will get c equal to c not divided by 1 minus t by d plus t over dk so from this equation it is clear that c equal to c not i will tell you here how this is greater than c not so from this equation it is clear that when we introduced dielectric between the plates of the capacitor capacitance increases okay now let us discuss special cases suppose t equal to d means dielectric fits properly inside the plates of the capacitor there is no space left behind it fits properly okay means t equal to d so when we put t equal to b here you see t d t here d so d cancels out with d 1 minus 1 is 0 and d cancels out with d and we left 1 over k so you see here due to this factor the capacitance is increases by the factor of the electric constant that's why this value is greater than this value okay so you see here suppose we introduce a dielectric having dielectric constant 30 suppose then it means the capacitance of the capacitor will increases 30 times the capacitance when there was free space between the plates of the capacitor so it means when we introduce dielectric the capacitance of the capacitor increases so it means if we want to increase the capacitance what we do we will introduce dielectric of some suitable thickness inside the plates of the capacitor so capacitance of the plate will be increased by a factor of k okay now from here if c equal to k c not so from here k is equal to c over c not another definition for dielectric constant that is dielectric constant is the ratio of capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor with dielectric slab between the plates and to the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor with free space between the plates now if t equal to d by 2 means this time t equal to d by 2 when we put this value we get 
c equal to 2 k c naught divided by k plus 1. Okay. If t equal to 2 d by 3, then equation will become 3 k c naught k plus 2. So it means the conclusion is when we introduce dielectric between the uh, two plates of the capacitor, capacitance increases. Okay. Now, the various definitions of dielectric constant. In chapter 1, that is electric charges and fields, we discussed that dielectric constant is the ratio of permittivity of the substance to the permittivity of the free space. We know that epsilon equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r, that is absolute permittivity of the free space and relative permittivity. So, when we put this value, epsilon naught cancels with epsilon naught and here comes dielectric constant is equal to the relative permittivity of the medium. Okay. Number two, it is the ratio of applied electric field to the reduced value of electric field. And number three, it is the ratio of capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor with dielectric as medium to the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with free space. And from these relation, it is clear that K is unitless. It is purely a number. A number. Okay. And this relation K equal to C over C naught. It holds good for any type of capacitor, whether spherical capacitor, whether uh, cylindrical capacitor. It holds good for each type of capacitor. And it is the general definition for the dielectric constant of the substance. So, this was today's lecture. Thank you very much. If you want PDF notes, you can ask me in comment section or you can follow me on my telegram channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay happy, stay healthy.